Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure that we are here gathered here today uh, to formalize this partnership. Uh, it started a very long way with a lot of back and forth because we needed to do something that was very, very impactful and right for the economy. Um, the signing of the MOU represents a significant milestone uh, in our collaborative efforts uh, and to the testament that the shared vision and commitment as we join forces to come up with a market price index for the commonly procured goods and services to assist procuring entities uh, to be able to make decisions uh, and achieve value for money. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, the Commission's mandate is to enable the, the creation of a competitive environment for Zimbabwe businesses through the development, coordination, and implementation of key policy improvements required for domestic and regional and global competitiveness and to directly contribute to the achievement of Vision 2030. As my friends are saying that this is to, for the benefit of all consumers. We believe that if this thing is put in place and it's active, we are able to achieve correct prices for the betterment of the society and thereby achieving a prosperous and empowered upper middle income economy. It is without doubt that uh, this collaboration will go a long way in achieving prosperity for our people in this country. The competitiveness agenda is very important, very complex, but very important. It works towards achieving a high inclusive economic growth and sustainable development. It determines the country's ability to generate income, foster development, and enhance the welfare of its citizens. I want to repeat that. Enhance the welfare of its citizens. High prices, and before I price that uh, my colleague Mr. Rousseau mentioned, only buys it in the pockets of the citizens. They are the bearers of all this. So this collaboration seeks to ensure that there is fairness that is achieved for our citizens. Competitiveness is related to the standards of living in any country. Most developed countries that are safe and competitive, they have high living standards for their citizens. The President of Zimbabwe has been on record on Vision 2030 on achieving upper middle income recovery. And I think we rally behind him as public institutions to ensure that this vision is achieved and that the standard of living for every Zimbabwe is achieved. Some of the Commission's functions that we do, uh, we continuously monitor cost drivers in the business and economic environment. And we advise on the measures that need to be taken to enhance productivity and address the current and emerging cost challenges within the country. We review all existing business regulations to ascertain the impact on the cost of doing business. And we recommend amendments or repeals where appropriate so that communities is enhanced. And this collaboration that we're doing now is an additional layer to our work where we will continuously be able to advise uh, policymakers, advise industry on measures that need to be taken to enhance competitiveness. We conduct international competitiveness benchmarking surveys with comparator countries to learn from the countries that are doing very well and that are achieving a good standard of living for their citizens. And this then informs this collaboration as we will use successful countries to benchmark and also try and implement similar policies or adapt them to our environment so that we can also become competitive and achieve a standard of living that is uh, mentioned by our president. The functions, therefore, dovetails with what we are signing today between us and France. This MOU, we take it as it's not just a document, but it is a symbol of our intention to contribute towards economic growth as NCC. 
it outlines our shared goals, and I think uh, just to digress a bit from my uh, script, I think myself and Musa we met in some other forums, and we met sidelines, and we were all passionate about doing something about the price uh, indexing and all the other issues that are affecting uh, procurement at the moment, and also competitiveness in Zimbabwe. And I'm glad that we are here now, Mr. And this must be. This must be applauded by all members of our staff and our team and dedicate for us to make this a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to conclude that our commitment and partnership to what we are signing today, we will dedicate, commit ourselves to ensure that it doesn't just become another talk show or another MOU that is gathered with us but it goes on to inform our policymakers. We have our policymakers in, in the room here, and we place that promise as NCC that, come uh, Secretary, we will definitely prioritize this for the sake of trying to achieve stability and also transparency in the pricing uh, area in Zimbabwe, and also advise based on evidence where we need to be going in terms of pricing of commonly procured goods and services. I thank you all.